Hello, David. Hello, hello, Manu. Yeah, thank you for joining our interview today. Can you share with our audience what is the business of OCK Group Bahad? Uh, OCK, we started business uh, in year 2000. So this year is uh, our year 23 in uh, business operation. Uh, in year 2000, we started as a telecommunication uh, subcontractors during the era of uh, 2.5G and uh, 3G. So today, 2023, we are still doing the same thing in telecommunication industry, but we have uh, growth ourselves uh, from a small subcontractor to be uh, one of the largest uh, uh, service providers uh, in, in Malaysia in our telecommunication industry. Malaysia is our headquarter, and uh, we have expanded ourselves uh, to uh, other countries uh, in this region. So we have our uh, office in uh, Indonesia, Myanmar, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, uh, and also uh, Thailand. So uh, in Malaysia, we are the biggest uh, in terms of revenue. Our revenue last year was uh, 717 million ringgit Malaysia. And uh, in, in actually, beside that, we are the biggest uh, uh, telecommunication service providers uh, by revenue in Malaysia. We own 5,300 towers in uh, Malaysia, Myanmar, and uh, Vietnam. And these 5,300 towers we lease to uh, mobile network operators in these three countries uh, for 5 to 15 years. So this is one of the long-term uh, uh, recurring revenue for OCK. In Indonesia, we are, the, we are specialized in uh, many services. We're managing uh, right now around 49,000 uh, telecommunication sites or stations in entire Indonesia. So we capture these 49,000 translate into around 46% uh, market share uh, in uh, Indonesia. So we are now working uh, in uh, 5G uh, deployment and uh, rollout and uh, OCK will continue uh, to focus and uh, grow uh, this uh, industry uh, 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 in the future. We took Telco Towers for granted. What hmm. are actually the functions of the Telco Towers? Yeah, uh, in fact, Telco Tower plays a very important uh, role. Uh, this is where the uh, mobile network operators uh, install their antenna system uh, on top of all these uh, Telco Towers. And this is this antenna transmit and receive uh, all these uh, mobile signals to the subscriber uh, and also receive the signal from the subscriber. Uh, so without this tower, so uh, mobile network operators will not be able to transmit and reach out all the subscribers. So that's why it is uh, very important. Revenue site for your telco tower is driven by basically leasing rates and tenancy ratio. So what are the factors that will determine the leasing rates and tenancy ratio for these telco towers? Okay, uh, one of the key factors is the tower structure type. There are a few uh, different tower structure types. Uh, big one is like those uh, three-legged or four-legged for uh, freestanding towers that we uh, see along uh, highway, maybe right uh, on the highway. And then there are also a smaller type like monopole, uh, unipole, and uh, also those uh, land pole type structure, a smaller one that we used to see uh, in the city area. And also another very common type is the uh, those tower uh, on top of uh, shop lot and uh, buildings. So so these are one of the key. Uh, these are the key uh, uh, factors to determine the leasing rate. Out of your total revenue, what is the split between recurring and non-recurring? The split between these two uh, last year, based on our uh, uh, auditor report, our recurring revenue. Uh, percentage is uh, almost 58% of our total revenue. Last year revenue was uh, 600, 670 million. So 58% is about 380 million uh, million Malaysia. So the rest are, uh, the balance are not uh, recurring revenue. So we keep growing our recurring revenue uh, in OCK group. Uh, so this is uh, so-called one of our, our so-called uh, uh, attractiveness, attractiveness in, your, in your special thing in our OCK where we have a balance of uh, contract revenue and also the recurring income. Mm. So the recurring income is because of the long-term contracts or where are these recurring So income? this recurring income mainly from the uh, long-term leasing revenue, uh, from the uh, tower leasing. Mm -hmm. And also we have a small uh, uh, so-called percentage of uh, recurring revenue from our solar energy uh, uh, business. Segment. As Malaysia's largest uh, telecommunication network solutions provider, what are your competitive advantages? We have a very strong uh, uh, project management team and also uh, management team. Most of our management, senior management and project management team, like me, we came from the industry. I, I, I worked as a radio network engineer from uh, Arcatel for many years before joining uh, OCK. And uh, my team member also, most of them came from uh, vendors uh, like uh, Nokia, uh, Lucent, Ericsson. 
So this makes our teams are very strong in uh, delivering the services and fulfill uh, our customers' uh, requirements. Uh, all the all the key players, uh, telecommunication key players, mobile operators or technology vendors like Huawei, ZTE, Ericsson, Nokia, they know OCK. So normally when there is a big tender to flow up, we are the party they will, uh, they will invite us and uh, get us to uh, participate. It's impressive that OCK has rapidly expanded the operation into Myanmar, Vietnam, um, Indonesia, Laos and more. So what, what is OCK's secret in this regional expansion? <laughs> Yeah, I think key secret is uh, we have a good leader. I mean, my, my, my MD, uh, Dr. Villa Senpi. So he, he always has a long uh, business vision and uh, missions. So he knows telecommunication is one of the key, uh, so called, become one of the uh, daily life of, uh, of, of us. Everyone having a mobile, minimum one. Even now, kids also start to have a mobile. So it, as far as everyone using a mobile phone, uh, now broadband services, so they need telecommunication service, towers, fibers. So, and uh, Malaysia actually market is not so big. We have about 32 million uh, population, but Indonesia is huge. Mm -hmm. I think uh, more than, uh, I think 160 million uh, uh, or 200 million uh, population. And then uh, we also want to uh, uh, so-called leverage our technical know-how to those uh, 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 underdeveloped countries such as uh, Cambodia and Laos. So we can bring our technical know-how and also uh, our business uh, model to this country and uh, promote to them, give them, uh, educate them, such as uh, tower sharing. A lot of these countries, they do not have a concept of sharing. Every operators, like, like, like uh, they still build their own towers. So we go there, we educate them, and we show them the benefit of uh, tower sharing. It's a win-win-win situation for mobile operators, government, and also tower providers like OCK. It's yeah. also the whole landscape which is very favorable yeah. to OCK's growth in the coming years. Yeah, yeah. Because for OCK we can give them an entire solution. Besides our we can we can help them to do the fiber, uh, even the antenna installation if they want us to do it. And uh, because we are the hands on, we started as a hands on subcontractors and our cost to do this I think is more effective, I believe, and also lower compared mm. to, to, to other big tower players. Yeah. Why did OCK choose, in terms of your expansion, expansion strategy, why did OCK choose to deploy Greenfield rollout in Malaysia uh, and Myanmar and then Brownfield acquisition in Vietnam? Mm. Yeah, Malaysia, we started uh, our business after we IPO uh, in year 2012 on days because to do our business, you need capital. Right? So in those days, we do not have much capital until we IPO, we get the proceeds, then how we started uh, power. And we know that power is going to give us a uh, long-term revenue and uh, sustainability of uh, our business uh, in future. Uh, that time, Malaysia, yeah, I think it's about 4G time. So, so we get ourselves uh, and talk to telco operators, we get a contract and uh, they give us a build to suit. And there are not many companies, tower companies in Malaysia want to sell their towers. And mostly they are owned by the uh, uh, state government or because they back uh, companies. Mm -hmm. So that's why we, 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 we just uh, started as a uh, 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 new build in Malaysia. Coming back to Malaysia, because uh, OCK has been appointed as the Digital um, National Perhats Panel for 5G Rollout and Deployment Partner. So in order for uh, DNB to achieve the 80% coverage uh, of the populated areas by end of 2024, uh, there needs to be a, another 7,500 new sites to be rolled out by end of 2024. So how would this uh, developments uh, benefit OCK? Yeah. We, OCK is one of the uh, tower companies of uh, DMB uh, since uh, day one, two years ago. So we have uh, uh, deployed uh, a lot of uh, 5G towers for them. Uh, at the same time, they also sharing a lot of our existing 4G towers. Uh, uh, that's why our sharing ratio in Malaysia increased from uh, 1.09 to 1.51 today. It will still keep uh, increasing. So, uh, yeah, we play a very uh, uh, so-called uh, uh, important contributions uh, in, uh, in uh, working together with uh, DME 5Gs. So, right now, I think they are still on target. I think work is still ongoing. Uh, so, uh, we will continue uh, to, to, to uh, work closely with them for their, uh, this year's plan and also next year, uh, phase 3, uh, look up in 2024 and 2025. So for those who uh, would like to uh, listen to my 
presentation and talk to me. So please come to this uh, ICAP uh, uh, event in end of this year.